are still battling with the crisis and division in their food. PDP, for example, is enmeshed with internal crisis as some state governors from the southern part of the country are insisting that the national chairman of the party, Yoche Ayu, must resign in the spirit of equity and fairness. Tomorrow, the southeast stakeholders of the party will be meeting in Enugu with the PDP presidential candidate, al Hadia Tiku Abubakar. But will uh, the expectation of such meeting, what will it be like with the geopolitical zone which has been crying of marginalization, especially in the PDP? That will be the focus of today's uh, platform, the pinnacle of all discussion. Let's take a breather. When we come back, my guests are already in the studio. You'll meet them shortly. Stay with us. This is political update. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, former President Goodluck Jonathan has charged Nigerians not to make the mistake of voting those he described as killers into elective positions. He gave the charge in OU during a special interdenominational service to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the creation of Akwaibum State. He explained those who kill for politics is not fit for political leadership because they would continue in order to sustain power. Meanwhile, Kogi State Governor Yahya Bilo has called the federal government high in tackling insecurity, saying the challenges met in 2015 have been largely solved. Governor Bilo stated this during an interview, adding that the ruling all progressives Congress APC has not failed to deliver on its electoral promises to Nigerians. He also commended the APC-led government for improving the equipment of security agencies as well as taking care of the welfare of personnel. Political activist Dele Farutimi believes the all progressives Congress APC and People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidates does not have what it takes to lead Nigeria to the future it needs. Speaking in a monitored interview, the legal practitioner said that the current administration has made Nigerians lose hope for the country and should not be giving another chance to drag it to the mud. He noted that in the midst of the challenge in every sector of the economy, it would be default to convince Nigerians of the ability to reject the nation. That was political update. I am Wisdom Thomas. Okay, thank you so much wisdom for that update and welcome back to the program it's still the platform the pinnacle of all discussion like i told you before the break that we'll be looking at the meeting uh, of the St southeast stakeholders meeting with the pdp presidential candidate a large article Bubakar, tomorrow in enugu what are they expecting from the that particular meeting we'll be looking at that and my guests are already in the studio like i told you uh okay let's take this breather to you know to pay some bills when we come back you'll meet them shortly all right uh, my guest is barrister kichuku Osoha, the deputy national legal advisor of the people's democratic party thank you so much barrister for joining me on the program this morning thank you uh Gene Kangwa. i'm happy being in your studio once again mm -hmm. after a while thank you so much Okay, and the acting publicity secretary of the PDP in Abia State and also the vice chairman of PDP Abia North. I'm talking about Chief Ame Abraham. Thank you so much, Chief, for joining me on the program. Uh, thank you. It's my pleasure to have me this morning. All right. Uh, I think I should start with you, Chief Ame Abraham. I know that there's a crisis in your party, which you've actually alluded to going by your statement, which you issued sometime last week uh, at the national level, though. Uh, that, that particular statement said that Ayu must resign and uh, for equity and fairness is there any hope of settling this matter soon? Let's start with that. Well, I must add this morning that uh, every human aff uh, affair is uh, a developing story. Uh, what we have in our party is an internal issue uh, that will be resolved and it's been resolved. I don't see it. It's not a threatening issue. It's not something that threatens uh, our party. It's not something that threatens the unity of the party. It's something which uh, stakeholders are doing everything possible to make sure that it's being addressed. And I believe that after what you call the crisis, as a party, we'll become stronger. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's not, uh, we are not involved in a game of tug of war or uh, uh, we don't have any hatred on the person of the national chairman of our party. Uh, the position of uh, the Abia PDP, as we have always emphasized, is that we believe in the capacity of our presidential candidate in the person of Atiku Abubakar. Uh, 
the experience is there. He has been there before. And you will recall that at the time PDP came to power in 1999, uh, Nigeria was regarded as paria state. But with the effort of the Obasanjo Atiku ticket, we were able to recover the country, and Nigeria became one of the fastest growing economy in the world. And you will not fail to also re uh, recognize the fact that it is the constitutional responsibility of the vice president to drive the economy. So we are talking about a former vice president who has the capacity to drive an economy, uh, who has driven the economy of Nigeria before, who was able to discover the likes of Okonjo Iwala and several others and brought them to the limelight. And these persons made very, very wonderful contributions for the advancement of our country. We believe in him, and our governor has said it clearly, our governor, His Excellency, Dr. Okeze Victor Ikbazo, that Abia PDP will continue to give uh, Atiku Abubakar all the needed support mm. for him uh, to succeed as a presidential candidate. Chief, before you go ahead, sorry to butt in, but uh, before you go ahead, if actually you're going to give Atiku the needed support for him to succeed in 2023, would that call that uh, you must resign, which obviously is not forthcoming from the body language of Ayu himself. Do you think you are giving him the needed support? Yes, we are giving him the needed support. See, uh, if you love, you are a child or your spouse, or you love a friend, it, that it does not that love does not forbid you uh, from uh, advising that person to do what is right. We want a united party. Because today, we believe that the Nwike and uh, other members of his group have capacity for over a million votes. So we, as a party in Abia PDP, we are not taking that over a million, over two million votes for granted. Because when we say every vote must count, we are talking about one vote. But when we begin to take actions that are... Uh, have the capacity to threaten a million, two million, three million votes, then it is not good. So what we are saying, we love him, we are backing him, and that is why we are telling him the truth of the things he need to do. Because as I stated earlier, in a meeting that took place at uh, uh, the Bauchi uh, guest house, uh, 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 governor's lodge, in a meeting that took place, uh, due, uh, when the issue of uh, uh, pres uh, zoning the president was still on the table, a critical question was raised, and that question was directed to uh, Ayo. And the question was, assuming tomorrow that a presidential candidate emerge from the northern part of this country, what will become uh, your take? And he told party leaders that if that's happened that he will resign we are talking of Ayu is not a child you understand he's not he said i will resign he said i will resign and that is exactly what nigerians expect we have seen what, demonstrations what, what, in what we, uh, chief one would be considering why would you think of that uh, going by the fact that every politician can make any statement just to gain power but l let me come to you barrister uh you, right now southeast has the bot acting bot okay. chairman uh, the person of the former Senate President Adolph Wabara. I won't we'll be wondering why you are still, I mean, the, the party PDP, I mean, I, I, in Abia State, will still be making demands for you to resign now that you have a BOT chairman. Thank you so much. I think uh, uh, from what you've said, mm -hmm. I, I want to disagree with you. The Abia PDP is not emphatically making demand that uh, it's not Abia PDP. That he's saying how oh, you should resign. But, but you a, heard that. You uh, heard but no, he said that was a statement that the national chairman made. And you equally made him understand that he politically, some politicians can make statements. Mm. But what is on the table right now is that we are going for an election. And it's a critical period, very sensitive. At this point in time, we must do the needful. Every hand must be on deck for us to be able to put our ass together and win election. I want to tell you something. When it comes to, we, I'm a legal practitioner and the deputy national legal advisor of the party. Mm. Uh, we, there's a lot of implications about what is on the ground right now, talking about resignation or no resignation of the national chairman. But he made that statement, and everybody is saying, if you made that statement, you should honor your uh, word. But then, as a lawyer, there's legal, if you go to section 47, article 47, subsection 6 of the, our party constitution, 
he provided that if the party chairman per adventure resigns or dies from the same zone that he comes from he will get the replacement and right now the deputy national uh, chairman of the party from the north is equally from the northeast that's ambassador damagun is okay. equally from the north so you see that there are a lot of implications and the Pro, there are things that we need to look at. But the major thing, like my brother here has spoken, we want to win this election. And what is on the my point now is that the capacity of our presidential candidate, the party has spoken, and the party is supreme. If we have brought out a presidential candidate in the, the like of uh, uh, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, former vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So you'll find that what we are talking about, like my brother stated, what are the indices on the table? The party as a party PDP. We are playing party politics in Nigeria. There is no individual candidate. And our party has performed creditably well in the past. Ideologically, if you go to other climes like America and the Britain, they look at the, the ideology of what the party stands for. PDP, when we, it was in power, provided a better uh, rulership and governance in Nigeria. At least my brother has stated the economy in Nigeria there was number one in Africa. Insecurity was, I think, it was in the minimum. And even the economy, the welfare of the citizens were, were, were taken care of. Even Naira per dollar in the exchange rate was better. And the capacity we are talking about, Atiku has been there, he's been as the vice president. For you to be a member of the Federal Executive Council, he knows where the, because they say, where he who wears his shoes knows where it pinches. And this is a man who has the capacity, the drive, and the courage. And he has the experience. We are looking about how can we tackle the issues of Nigeria now because Nigeria is bedeviled with a lot of myriad issues and problems. Barista. People are suffering in Nigeria. There is insecurity all over the country. The economy of Nigeria has even no dived so much that people are crying, people are dying. So we want somebody that has that capacity. And there is another worst scenario and situation. This way that, that Nigerians are no longer the unity of Nigeria has uh, actually affected. People are looking for somebody that can come and have that capacity to bring Nigerians together and unite us once again. And Atiku is that person. That's what we are talking about. And not the tribal issue of resignation or no resignation. Because when you talk about most of these things, you know in politics there's interest, personal interest. But we should not allow our personal interest to override the collective and public interest. Nigeria's interest is paramount now. We are looking for a way to salvage Nigeria, to rescue Nigeria from this bad government of uh, APC. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I, I, I know all these things that you have actually itemized uh, that you would do. I mean, your presidential candidate, if eventually he becomes the president of Nigeria, will only materialize when you have your house intact. Right now, the issue is that your house is not in order. Some governors, led by Governor Wike and some other governors, are saying that they are aggrieved because this resignation is very important to them. Now, if the man does not resign, of course, they may decline support for your presidential candidate. So right, if, you, you, if, if, you must, if you must clinch that particular okay. position, you must first of all put your house in order, gain the necessary support, but you are not gaining it. My brother here has stated it. I mean, we don't have any, the, there's no crisis in the party that is threatening. There's an internal mechanism that we use to resolve matters in our party. There's interest, like there was primary election that took place, both in the state and the national. The presidential primaries took place. And at the end of the day, the party has spoken and made a decision. And that decision that our candidate has emerged, and the party is supreme. Every other person will fall in line. But there's mechanisms. You have mentioned here that at least some agreed people, the Southeasterners, we take one step after the other. Like the other day, we were giving a, our brother, Senator Wabra have emerged as the chairman of BOT, which is a very strong and uh, formidable organ because that BOT is the highest uh, organ of the party. They say it's like it. Whatever is it, but it's the organ that at the end of the day they are looked upon that uh, that BOT as the image of the party. When they speak, every other person will listen. At least we have gotten that one in the South East. We are still yearning for other positions. Even after election, we have the Secretary of the Federal Government. We have Senior President. Those positions are still there. And then we have uh, even other positions in this, in, even the Speaker of the House of Rep. So the instant Easterners and even the South, we are still agitating for other more positions. Okay. And that's why you are talking about this consultative meeting that is going to take place. In we'll, the we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So we'll, that's what I'm saying. There's no threatening there. Every other group, there's mechanisms. We have the neck of the party, 
National Executive Council of the Party. We have the National Working Committee of the Party. These people are talking, and even the leaders, even some other senators from the party, we are talking about how we can unite, uh, unite every group and everybody and they marry their interests and we'll move ahead. Okay, and I believe that we are going to win this election because Nigerians are tired of APC and they are yearning for a rescue mission and that's what our party has come for. Chief Am Abraham, are you comfortable with the BOT, the position of the BOT chairman coming to the Southeast Abia precisely? Will he assuage your agitation for are you to resign? Okay. Going by that statement you made, Chief. The highest decision making body of our party is the National Working Committee. Okay. That is the highest decision-making uh, uh, body of our party. And the chair of BOT, you don't use it to equalize the national chairman. I don't want uh, our very, very able national chairman to be spoiled of Abuja and then think less of the interest. He has made uh, significant uh, input about national senate president and secretary to the government these are the issues we want the presidential candidate to make a pronouncement okay. and as of today no pronouncement has been made anywhere about such positions coming to us mm -hmm. but we have it in good record that the senate president has been zoned to sokoto state Really? Yes. Abia PDP has it in good record that it has been zoned to Sokoto State. I'm and sorry. there is no public record anywhere. No meeting has taken place anywhere where we have been told that this position is coming to Southeast or the Secretary to the Government is coming to Southeast. We have also had in good record that uh, Abia PDP that what are you intends to do is to resign after the elections and become the secretary to the government. That is, these records, these informations are available to Abia PDP. You see, and I don't also want anybody, what are tribal issues? Tribal issues are issues of less importance. Tribal issues are little issues. You cannot look at an issue today, like a, a weaker group, and several serving governors. Remember in 20. Uh, 15 or uh, 2019 we had over 20 something uh, 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 we have uh, uh, we had several uh, uh, in 2015 we had several about uh, seven uh, states no 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 we had 20 something states okay. in 2015 okay we had 20 something states and the pulling out of about seven governors rocked the boat and today we had less than 15 governors or 12 governors and you know what it means for five governors to pull down we cannot make the presidency that, are, are, are there moves for them to leave the party what, what I mean is that if the issues they are raising, which confront their people, their interests, mm. are not taken care of, anything can happen. Mm. So for us in the other Including people, leaving the party. No. Anything is possible. No. That is the language. I am not fending any, I'm not trying to protect anything here. Okay. You said anything can happen. And that is the more reason why the interest of the Southeast, see, we want Atiku to make comments about how he intends to resolve the IPOB issues uh, 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 with a political approach. I mean, Nnam Dekalo is still in detention. He must not run away. He must make comments about what his government will do if he takes over tomorrow with Nnam Dekalo. You understand? That, those are our concerns. Number two, we want Atiku to tell us, in, and that is what we expect from them tomorrow at Abuja, and I am happy that my brother from the National Working Committee is here. Let them come and tell us in black and white that these are the positions which his government will zone to uh, southeast. We want categorical statements so that we can quote, you see, we can quote. And our fear, our fear here is that after telling us all the things they are doing, we will do. I hope we, it will not be called the IU promise. Mm -hmm. yeah, because not, I was going to yeah, ask you. It will not be called the IU promise mm -hmm. because my brother have just said that politicians can promise everything. Now, it will not be called the are you promise. So, what will you do if somebody makes a promise and you don't even know if he's going to keep it? Now, in this regard? Part of what we have seen that in the APC, where the issue of one dollar to one naira was raised, and the president said he never made that promise. You understand? We have seen that. And because of that, what we want 
from the what we want from Abuja, what we want from the uh, 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 the presidential candidate is that those promises which has been made before now by the party should be kept as the basis for us to assume or to accept the totality of other promises so that our subsequent promises will not be seen as an angry promise. Okay, uh, uh, Barrister, I want to go to you now. Now, I, I understand that uh, your national chairman is out of the country, and before he left, he actually handed over to Deputy Chairman North. Uh, so, does it mean that, let's assume he wants to step down, going by your party's constitution, he's still going to hand over to somebody from the North? I have stated it, uh, I, I, I stated it before, mm. but I want to tell you something, like my brother said, let us not, uh, there's no fear. Let us just not, uh, you know, uh, be pessimistic about life. I know that Tatiku, I've come in contact with him from all his manifesto and programs, what his agenda is all about. He talks about restructuring. That is what Nigeria requires. Nigerians are suffering because there's no equity, there's no justice. The institutions in the country are not strengthened, they are not deepened, they are not strong enough. So like he has stated, I know that engagement, we are still engaging and we are still discussing. By tomorrow, like he said, politics is all about engagement, constructive engagement and discussions. Like tomorrow, the South Easterners will tell him and he will bring out for, to the burner and to the table what are their demands. And I know that he is uh, alive to those responsibilities. The only promise he makes, he knows he will be accounted, accountable to it. He will keep to them. Like that of with the positions that will come to the southeast. I have not had, for me, I'm a member of the National Working Committee, I'm a, a member of NEC. I've not had that the senior president has been zoned to the north again. Be As be, a legal I mean, national Because legal I know that I, I'm person. looking at it from the point of view that it is the right of the southeasterners because we were denied the presidency. We have not gotten the vice presidency. So by equity and reasonable thinking, uh, senior president should be coming to the southeast. To the federal government. But this is like my brother says, so guess what? We're going to put it on the table. That's the, why he's coming to consult us. Uh, because we need the support, the total support of the South East Island. I want I to know, know. I, have you discussed the issue of zoning, which position goes to which job? They are in the, the, they are the end of the of the yes, party. Yes, they are in the, even our guidelines. They are in the party's uh, so, uh, do you have and guidelines. Who takes over the Senate president if eventually Article wins? That's what I'm telling you. Now, these are party programs and the internal arrangement. Are you hearing me? And we are ongoing on it. We are still do, discussing. Okay. But so I know that the East must get our due share. And that is why it is very important this consultation we are going in for. Because he needs our support. And I know we are going to give him support because we are PDP people. Abia has been PDP state. Our governor is PDP governor. Even our, almost our candidates are PDP candidates. So, but let us bring our demands and we push it to him mm -hmm. and we make sure that at the end of the day, party will win okay. and we must get those our demands. Okay. Okay. Let, uh, but just, just, hold on. Just respond oh. on something there. Okay. Uh, I want to go on a break. When we come back, okay. we can, we can okay. respond. Okay. It's still the platform, the pinnacle for the discussion and we are looking at that uh, meeting, uh, the Southeast Stakeholders meeting of the People's Democratic Party holding tomorrow. In Enugu, what are the expectations of the people of the Southeast if eventually PDP wins the presidential uh, seat come next year? Uh, next year, stay with us. When we come back, uh, there are other issues to talk about on this particular topic. Stay with us. Come back to the program. It's still the platform, the pinnacle of all discussion, and we have been uh, talking about that meeting holding tomorrow. The Southeast stakeholders uh, of the PDP meeting tomorrow with the PDP presidential candidate. Elijah Tiko Abubakar is going to hold tomorrow in Enugu. We are looking at the expectation of the people of the Southeast if eventually Atiku wins that particular position next year. And my guests have been Abraham Ama, the acting publicity secretary of the PDP and vice chairman of the PDP, Abian North, and also Barrister Kichuku Oswaha, the deputy national legal advisor of the PDP. All of them are in the studio, you know, bearing their minds as regards to this particular issue. Now, let me uh, come back to you, uh, Chief. Um, uh, you talked about uh, the things you'll be expecting, you know, what you'll be presenting to Atiku tomorrow, if eventually you meet tomorrow in Enugu for that meeting. Uh, you talked about uh, what position will the Saudis get, and uh, just political. It's all about political position. Now, what about the people? Are you going to present about... I make demands as far projects that will come to the southeast because that is what 
politics should be all about, where it's going to impact the lives of the people? Well, uh, in, uh, in party politics, uh, let me respond to something quickly before coming to that. Okay. From 1999 to 2015, PDP was in power for 16 years. Okay. And in that 16 years, when the president comes from the north, the Senate president comes from the north, in that 16 years, when the president comes from the south, the Senate president comes from the south. Okay. In engaging, in this constructive engagement, we cannot be dealing with assumption. You understand? And we cannot be taking things for granted to assume that because the president has gone, because it has been the tradition of our own party. And to be very sincere with you, I don't see anybody changing that tradition. I must be very frank to you. Maybe we could be talking about the Federal House, the Speaker of the Federal House. Now, uh, coming to the questions you have asked, in party, you first of all determine the driver of the system before what the system can attract to the people. And that is why we want to be, we want to make significant contributions on those who will drive the system. Because our fear today is that we don't have anybody, you understand, who is a co-driver of the system, that we don't have the president. That is our fear today. The Southeast don't have the vice president, a co-driver. The Southeast don't have the Senate uh, 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 don't have uh, the party uh, 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 chairman. These are co-drivers. The people who will even eventually drive the projects you are talking about. You understand? So uh, we are concerned now because it will be preempting issues to go to that place and start talking. You will build votes for us. You will do deals for us. Because those ones can be managed by the people who send to National Assembly. That is why we will send the best. In Abia, we have Okay, Z Bazo. We have Austin Akomondo, retired military officer. We have Chief Mao, Senator Mao Uwabonga. You understand? That is why we are sending the best. Because they are the ones who will go there and discuss the projects which will be attracted. But for now, we are desperate, 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 desperate. And we can take hardline decisions mm -hmm. if anything forbids us from taking a place as a co driver. To determine, to determine, we will not just sit down and say party constitution, uh, party manifesto. And another thing I want to add finally is that political parties all over the world, I am a student of political history, all over the world don't use judiciary to resolve their matter because our able national uh, deputy secretary did say that constitutional factors, that if I resigns, even at the point when I you made that statement. He knew that what happens is that as he's resigning, the deputy chairman not is resigning. Okay. Both of them are resigning. These are the political solution to the matter. Okay. We are not uh, inept. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah. Before I come to you, I want to chief my Abraham. You said you are going to take hardline decision as regards to this issue if eventually I does not resign. Tell us what decisions. No, let me tell you the hardline decisions we are taking. Do you mm. know? Let me tell you. Very soon, it might come to a point whereby if you are walking in the street as a politician, people will stone you. A lot of people are, are, are highly agree with politicians. Mm -hmm. And each time we have an opportunity as a people to take those stands that will protect the interests of our people, we will do them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because it, to a very large extent, it's not even about my party winning. Because if my party wins tomorrow and we see a kind of discrimination against my people, we see a kind of our interest not being taken care of, of what benefit it is for us. And our life will become in dangerous species to our own people. So we will do everything. We will not take anything for granted and will not be and tomorrow. The first matter in the agenda is not for us to tell Atiku what to do for us. Atiku should come out clearly our presidential candidate to tell us what he has for us. Yes, yes. That is where the story must begin. That is the PDP side. <laughs> Yes, okay. he must come out in that uh, reconciliatory meeting, in that consultation, he will come out and tell us and, and, and present his address to us. You understand? He, of course, he should be the key, uh, uh, keynote speaker. You understand? And tell us that this is what I have for you. As he pre made that presentation, there is an automatic assimilation. So what if he doesn't do that? What happens? No, of course he will do it. What you should be talking about is that Probably what he will say may not be 
okay for us. We might ma want more. <laughs> or if we don't want more, we might also ask him, as I said earlier, is this another are you promise? <laughs> You have that. Okay. Now, now let me come to you, barrister. Okay. You, you, uh, uh, you're a national officer of the party, yes. and uh, you said that there's no crisis; it's just internal wranglings and the rest. Now, the, this group led by uh, Governor Wiki, the group they've pulled out of the campaign council. Does it not cause worry for you? I did not say it's a wranglings, but I said there's no crisis that is threatening. Or may, may be able to divide our party. So party, this pulling out of the campaign council is not If you are listening to, I, I, I watched uh, uh, in a rise television where mm. we can categorically stated that he's still a PDP man. He's not leaving PDP. He says far, 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 far. He's not leaving PDP. I want you to understand. Before I joined pa party, I'm a national officer. If you go to our constitution, the constitution of the party, he provided even after the preamble that you uh, must abide by the rules and the, the laws of guiding this political party that is the, uh, the 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 ultimate loyalty to the party are you hearing me and you must abide by the constitution of the party and the constitution constitution of the federal republic of nigeria that's why we say that the party is supreme after every activity in the party, like you said, we had primaries, even the presidential primary. There are a lot of candidates that contested. It's not only weak. Even Senator Payo Sanyim contested. Senator Saraki contested. Even Tambu Wako. But at the end of the day, the party has chosen the candidate or has elected the candidate. So at the end of the day, the whole other candidates and the party faithfuls, we are all loyal to the party. And we are moving ahead to present our candidate to the public, to the entire Nigeria citizen, so that we can win this election. Like I told you, the party PDP is one of the most structured parties in Nigeria. I am my national officer. We have a reason. Even if we come to the national office of the party, we have different organs of the party. There's a lot of things that came out of that primary, that national, the presidential primary, and we are managing it. Even we can, not only we can, there are other people that are aggrieved. If in fact we are set up a reconstructive committee, both in the zonal level and the state level, we are going to manage all these crises, and nobody is going to leave the party. Because what are you running into? Because you the, can't, the campaigns are in two days. They even if it's in two days, are you running out of your house to go to another person's house? And you are by this point in time, this critical point in time. So we must be there. Uh, every other person will put every act together and engage together and see what we can do because Nigerians are looking up to this party at this point in time, PDP, and we cannot make any mistake. And we are doing it because Nigerians are suffering. They are yearning for somebody that will come and rescue them from the this bondage we are passing through in APC government. So the PDP, everything we can do, that's why I, I mentioned that in issue. Personal interest should be assured. We should, we should put the public interest and national interest. You, you, you will be at that meeting tomorrow. Exactly. So okay. will, what presentation will uh, the party make into the uh, presidential candidate of your party tomorrow? Thank you Especially so much. Like my brother has said, the South is they are articulating their demand mm -hmm. and they are, they are, they whatever they are asking for. It's not only me and my brother here. We have governors in the Southeast. We have senators in PDP and the CACOS. We have zonal CACOS and state CACOS. And you know, they are putting up something together they will present to him tomorrow. And when they present, I will be there as a member of the National Working Committee. So, and, 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 the, and the legal advisor, deputy national legal advisor. I will advise properly on the position of law and make sure that our, and our candidate, the presidential candidate, does not joke with my zone, does not joke with the PDP in Southeast, and especially have the State, that whatever is our demand, I will advise because we need Southeasterners, we need the South to be able to win this election. Our voice, like my brother said, is very critical and important. So he will be able to adhere to whatever demands we ask, but the ones that are practicable and the ones that are uh, possible for him to be able to actualize, like my brother said, I'm so not are you, are you, are you, are you promise? So that is what I will tell you. Okay. Uh, it's time for us to actually open the phone line so you can actually make your own contribution on this issue. We are looking at the uh, PDP meeting to, uh, from the South, the South East uh, stakeholders of the PDP meeting tomorrow with the uh, presidential candidate of the party, Elijah Tiko Abubakar, in Enugu tomorrow. So call us on 08081826949 or 08116052949. You can also send your SMS on 090 six five one zero eight two eight nine this is the platform the pinnacle of all discussion hello good morning good morning good morning, good morning welcome good morning to your guest in the house my brother who say my name i'm coming from my 
Welcome. Go ahead. Um, the issue of uh, start is the uh, PDP people meeting to Itatiku tomorrow by the grace of God. I believe it should be a collective uh, responsibility. Rabia PDP have said their own as a party, as a party being governed by PDP as a state. Likewise, the Enugu, where they are meeting with Atiku, they have four things to say. Boye and uh, uh, I, I, Imo State, and uh, the other one, uh, that complete Anambra, they, 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 all of us, all of them should make sure that they represent the interests of uh, Igbo persons. But to me, uh, what I've got to disagree with uh, what Ed uh, Abraham uh, said, when he says that uh, we talk about individual, if Mr. President, by, by the grace of God, wins election to term, if Mr. Tiku wins elections tomorrow as the president of Nigeria, I believe that the direct touch that will be getting from the from presidency direct, directly to the state by reading rules, making sure that we did job or what all that they are okay. supposed to get as a people as a supported PDP gets wrong. An individual, an appointed an individual okay. to go out there to represent us. Thank because you. most times we've sent, even in previous years, when PDP were in power, we've sent an individual to represent the interests of the interest of the state. How many of them? They were enriching themselves. So if for example, Mr. President, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Akiku, tomorrow decided to say that all the roads, all the federal roads that uh, go, go... Thank you. Uh, 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 Thank you. It's, it, 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 it's a kudos for us. We are prefer him watching us directly than the present individual, which I still believe that ministers were strong from. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Useman Nodi. Hello, good morning. Good morning, thank you. Good morning. Hello. Okay, Hello. I think, uh, no, I cannot hear you. Maybe you just need to attend to that, baby, then you can call us back. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Gideka. Good morning, welcome. Good morning, gentlemen of the house. Yeah, thank you so much. My name is Elamiri Skel. I have listened to all the discussions. The man in Abuja and the man in the state, I mean the two men, who is saying the, the truth of the grassroots is the man in the state. Because the man in Abuja who spoke last as the secretary, the, the barrister, the he's not the secretary. Is, Hold on. He's not the secretary. Okay. He is the deputy okay. national legal advisor of the party. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bless you. The party says zoning, and it is done at the southeast, and they are now twisting it. Now, let me tell you, from what is going on in the state, 24 years of PDP, I they have never gotten any, any, anything at all from them. Yes, I'm not happy. And I tell you what, I start using the, 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 their own tongue to the president. Let me tell you what, there's nothing they will do to make southeast look them. God bless you. Thank okay. you so much uh, for your thought there. Uh, hello? Hello, good morning, Dineka. Good morning, welcome. Yeah, good morning, brother. Yeah, good morning, yeah. Good morning my dear brother. Yeah, good morning, brother. Good morning, brother. Good morning, brother. Good morning, brother. Thank you, sir. Happy New Week. I, I remember Mr. Prince when he was from the United States. I'm very grateful this morning with this. I'm very grateful with him, brother. You have made it, you have said it all. There's no way PDP can grow with this side they are, they are, they are fighting. We can, should have known that, actually, if you want to remove um, IU, constitutionally, if, if you can't favor him, so the best thing to do is to allow the constitution of the party to reign. The party says, if somebody wants to go out, his, 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 his replacement must be from the area at which he is. So for now, I believe, I don't, I don't, I don't see the benefits of we can fighting for removing them, are you? But if, if, if that is so, it doesn't mean that you want to pull the party down. Now, okay. now, the election is at the, now that the election is at the 11th hour, let him fall ahead, support the party at the end, they should correct the anomalies. Thank That's you. Team, God bless you in this thank you, thank you. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Beautiful morning this morning. The chief correspondent, Mr. Yuneka, and the uh, guests in the house. <laughs> Okay. Guy for me, only from Donovan. Welcome, Donovan. Let me start from, you from the side of the deputy legal advisor to the National Party of PDP. From the side of the uh, managing, I think uh, up to this moment, I think we are not having that such a uh, mindset or that uh, feeling that uh, we are still managing. But what I'm saying is, you said that they are going to manage the crisis. So I'm calling the party now. And uh, do you think that uh, that shows? That has to do with the uh, reserving. 
is having a crisis. That crisis might be raised again during the period of uh, election or after the election. Maybe they just see it this way. Assuming that uh, now the PDP now they kill the ground on the end of the day, that means uh, uh, the crisis will still come up again. So anything that has to do with managing is not in the interest of the Nigerians now. And again, I want to come from the angle of when you say collective idea, collective uh, effort. The collective idea and effort now is that Nigeria, they are talking about the, uh, the, the Northerners who have been here uh, before, the, the previous time before now. And that people was among the, 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 the decision of a person when he was uh, the vice president. Then apart from that, they're coming to talk about the interest. But I'm talking about the interest. The interest is this now. In South, South now we're talking about they left for the south, south east because the south south, south now have gone there, they have, they have taken their own, which is south south. Okay. Yeah, south east is right. the, the solution now. It's the only way in order to make Nigeria to have that interest, the balance. All right. See, they talk about the interest without saying that south east, south east, south east, south east is, is down for them to have their own uh, uh, position. Thank I think you. you are not getting it right. All right. But, uh, that, uh, the issue Thank is that uh, they don't know that our people are more interested to key in for the 2023 election. Come. Okay. Thank you so much, Don Casey Guy, for it. Hello. Hello, Mr. Zemeka. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah, I am Mr. Chinebi in Temakolam. I'm coming with you from Imechin, Afsa. Welcome. Go ahead. Um, my dear speakers in the house, good morning. Uh, good dear brother. Good. Yes, you have spoken very well. After all, we cannot lay our... I want to be able to play the politics very well. Let us all belong to all political parties. Play the major role, but our mind will actually speak for us. As for me and my family. Okay, I think uh, we lost that call there. Probably you call back and uh, complete your points there. Now to our SMS line. This one said, our politicians are used to politics and selfishness. That's the scenario downplayed in their primaries. As such, they cannot be trusted. Sample Onyekwari no more. Thank you so much. And now to our Facebook page. This one is coming from Naz- Nadozie Ibabuchi said, uh, favor seekers, your time is over. Obedient we are. Obi is our next agenda. Uh, no reason, no reasonable human being from Eastern Nigeria should support any other agenda apart from Obi. Well, those are your thoughts. Uh, inventor Bishop Onen said, Article to what belongs to the Southeast. Tell him to give back to the South what rightfully belongs to the South. Thank you so much. Uh, Zeka Elvis, Zeka Elvis, who has said, uh, good morning. At this point in time, I think PDP should rather be talking about how to resolve and settle the internal crisis, rank and disunity rocking them at the national level, instead of telling Nigerians otherwise. If they can't put their houses in proper order, then I don't think they have anything meaningful, tangible and credible to offer Nigerians. Thank God we are smarter and wiser than ever before, and we are watching with keen interest. God bless us all. Thank you so much, Zeka Elvis. Let's see if we can take some calls now. Hello, good morning. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, welcome. What's your name? Good morning, other to the students. Yeah, good morning, our brother. You fine, feel like I'm calling from MDC. Welcome, go ahead. The truth remains that if the election is of PDP and the APC, PDP is a better party to rule. But this time around, Nigerians have seen another movement past PDP because I will say it plainly. During the time of PDP, Nigerians are happy than APC. So, but now, what we choose is forbidden and useful. God bless you all. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Welcome. Yeah, good morning. My name is Andy. Welcome, Welcome Andy. Go ahead. My brother. The one thing you have to say, I thank you people. But there is one advice I want to give you people. Let us take a look at a party that have almost 12 or 15 positions as the leaders. Then, what part of the of, of the country is of 14 positions and the only one position goes to you? What would you think? The, that the same thing is what yes or is fighting. But you people are criticizing him. It is no good. Let us recognize our own people, the, the four parties. That is what other people are doing. If you people refuse to do that, me particularly cannot support you people. 
Because what I'm yearning for is my own freedom. I'm a freedom fighter. Thank you very much for what you are doing. Okay, thank you so much. Hello, good morning. Okay, we lost that call there. Now, Barrister, was there any point during the zoning arrangement that uh, that particular position, Office of the President, was supposed to have been zoned to the Southeast? Uh, my answer to it, I will tell you, in our party, mm. actually, in our constitution of the party, there's zoning arrangement mm. that uh, if uh, the, the presidency comes from the, the north, the, the chairman of the party comes from the south, and if uh, the president comes from the, the south, the vice president will come from the north. There are a lot of arrangements. But what happens is this. Sometimes, like my brother said, there are things that happen. There are, we call it exigencies of time. You know, uh, doctrines of necessity. Because at the, end of the, at the end of the day, even in our National Working Committee, the day we had meeting, we pointed it out that our party made a little mistake. Between last year and this year, by the time the people started yearning and aspiring for positions, especially the presidential position, it, we should have made it clear to people that this is where that presidency is going to. But after our national convention, we produce our national executive, which I'm a member, there was this, uh, they, they didn't take it serious. They allowed the candidate people, aspirants, to go and start buying from, consulting different places in the, uh, throughout the whole country, spending their money. It was just a few weeks before the the, the, the primary okay. that they came up and said uh, now that uh, they cannot do anything at this point that they are throwing it open and at the end of the day it was thrown open so we let every day in life because right. you don't do certain things that will come back to haunt you all right that was what the mistake our party made but i have said it has been issue whether it's a mistake or not if you an omission or commission this it has been done and at this point in time we have produced a presidential candidate and there's not uh, nothing again anybody can do that to support because we are loyal party members we are party faithful and lawyers are you okay. ready and right. the party should be supreme okay for us to win this election because of nigerians because of interest of We're, nigeria Barrister, and the public running thank you so much okay uh, chief uh, what's the way forward you are going for a meeting tomorrow what should be the way forward what should abians uh, at least let's start with you uh, you are going to represent uh, uh, Abia there. So, what are we expecting? I mean, people from Abia State going to the, the meeting. The engagement tomorrow is between uh, our presidential candidates and the South East. Mm. And, uh, Which Abia is one of them? Yes, Abia is one of them. We have our stakeholders, we have our South East Caucus, mm. we have uh, leaders of our party, we have two governors from this zone. Tomorrow, we expect two things. One is a presentation by Atiko. And if, if, if Atiku is very, very careful and is very, very intelligent, he will, has the capacity to steal the show. Amen. And in stealing that show, is for him to come all out to make a bogus presentation to Southeast and, uh, uh, and back it up with some uh, concrete agreements that he, yeah. will, uh, he will stand by them and that to make sure that they are. And once that happened, uh, I think the meeting is over. You understand? That is what. And you will support him. Yes, we'll support him. Be if you yes, understand, we'll support him. But if he doesn't, if if he doesn't, hmm. you understand, all the PDP have taken a position, and but we are not going back to that position. Our position is five over five. Okay. We will support him, but we will tell him the implication. You understand? We can support you. You lose hmm. because that means you are not supporting. No, 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 no. Hmm. Don't be, take it this way, please. Hmm. Take it. Don't it's a misinterpretation. Okay. If we are five or ten in this studio. If we are telling this to you, and I believe in something, he believes in something, and we are trying to tell others, bring, uh, uh, buy them to come into that tent, you understand? For us to have majority, it means that majority must believe in that tent. You understand? We believe in him. We be the truth about it is that Atiku has a capacity to take this country to a higher level. But at the same time, we are not making mistakes to tell him the hard truth. Because we want others to be fully involved Committed. the way we are involved. Right. You understand? Okay. okay. Gentlemen, let's leave it like that mm -hmm. and leave the studio and now uh, for the next I program. Think in Let me. Can I add something? <laughs> just, uh, okay. yes, in 10 uh, seconds. Uh, in 10 seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm appealing to Nigerians. Let us be pragmatic. Let us be objective thinking. We know what we are passing through. I, I listened to one of your callers who said that 
PDP performed creditably well. The Nigerians felt better when PDP was in government. And I'm appealing to them. Okay. Give us another chance. And yeah. we'll do There's better. There's not yet time for That's what I'm saying. Well, 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 time, but let us you can come back and pay <laughs> to our market. <laughs> thank you so much. Department. Sincere okay, thanks you. to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Barrys Okichuku also had the Deputy National Legal Advisor of the PDP and former Commissioner for Environment here in Abia State. Thank you so much for thank coming you, on my the dear show. Brother. And, uh, and thank you, my dear brother. And thank you, Elder Abraham Ama, the Acting Publicity Secretary of Abia PDP and the Vice Chairman of PDP Abia North. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming. Uh, thank you, show. thank you, thank you for having us. Okay, to all of you who called in and uh, who sent in your SMS, who listened at home or from your various uh, offices, thank you so much. May God bless you. This show returns on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Sincere thanks to Wizi, Adeze, and my intern there, Sanko mm -hmm. and Nedu. God bless you. And to my producer, Samson Eze. Thank you so much. My name is Ginika. I'll see you again on Wednesday at 10 a.m. on the platform, the pinnacle of all discussion. Today.